go. Get up, get up, I think I got gold on. What is happening, fellow pioneers of human transportation? I'm Yogi Steve, and you know you're watching ESA, the Electric Scooter Academy. We're going over the hill into Sherman Oaks from Hollywood, which is only five miles, but most people don't make this type of a ride on their scooters for whatever reason. Maybe it's a taboo against it or something like that, but I like to think outside the box. But right now, we're just going over the hill, hanging out with John Budd, longtime personal friend since college. Lucky to have friends like that. He owns a martial arts school. He's a cool guy. He's got a house in the valley, and he raises chickens. That's right, friends. He raises chickens. There's nobody behind me, so I'm tempted to put it in the fifth gear to go like 45 instead of 30. But there's nobody behind me. I'm not holding up traffic. Let's just fucking cruise. See the freeway on the left? It's almost like a decent two-lane road here. There is a guy I see coming up behind me, but they got like basically, I don't know if this is two lanes or this is a giant shoulder. <laughs> Somebody brought a rental scooter up here. Look at that. They brought a rental scooter up here and they're like, shit, that's as far as it's gonna go. <laughs> oh shit. You gotta watch out for branches, guys. Like branches at high speed hurt. I learned that early on. I really want to get out of the right lane. Probably just pop it in the fourth. Nobody behind me though, nobody behind me. Oh, but that's the, but that's the freeway, so here, I pop it up in gear and go a little faster. However fast that is, now I know we're going at least 40. Slowing down, this is a hill. Now we're going downhill, it's like we just roll. As much as I drive, this is still a pretty hard fucking high speed jaunt in traffic and shit. And we are going to the left if I remember. Come on, this fucking guy won't let me over, prick. We're going so fast. Motherfucking prick. So you saw me, like when you see a guy looking over your shoulder like that and they're trying to go, you gotta let him go. All right, little education for you guys. So I live in Hollywood. There's a hill, like they call the Hollywood Hills. It's north of where I live. I live at the base of it. You go up that hill, down that hill, and you're in the valley. You guys have heard of the valley, like valley girls. And yeah, this scooter has one of the main issues that every scooter almost in the world has, where the difference in top speeds from gear to gear is almost too big. In this case, like, you can go 30 miles an hour in gear four, but like almost 45 miles an hour in gear five. I mean, it doesn't make a difference, but I'm the type of guy that doesn't like to look at the throttle too much, you know, at the odometer too much, so, I like just to be able to hit the full throttle and know like, all right, fourth gear, you know, we're going 30 at top speed on a flat, but it is what it is. We're going all the way to Tahunga and making a right. I've made this trip before. This is one of my long trips that I made when I was new to scootering. This would be, I mean, this is still a very long trip. Don't get me wrong, like five miles is a lot for LA. I'm telling you guys, five miles is a lot for LA. All right, we're trying to get to Tahunga. We're getting close. I hope the sound on this comes out good. You know, guys, like, every episode doesn't have perfect sound because it's hard to fit the sound to your environment. Obviously, I have, like, a certain range of environments, but sometimes I have trouble getting perfect sound. Like, I like to have sound at this speed right here. I hope this isn't just a waste of fucking voice. Whenever you see fast-forward spots in my video that seem a little, videos that seem a little out of place, it's because 
the audio was bad or something and I just wanted a way to get around it. It is what it is. I like to have good audio though. I can't stand, I don't watch hardly any video that doesn't have good, any YouTube that doesn't have good audio, right? Most people don't. Okay, we're coming up to Tahunga finally. No, we got like, oh no, it's like, that's not for a while. I almost forgot how far away, like, it's only five miles, right? But it seems like a lot of distance. We still got 0.6 miles, half a mile to Tahunga. Then we make our right. All right, we're gonna full throttle fifth gear here. One thing I noticed is that the difference between like a, a smaller scooter and a bigger scooter is on a smaller scooter, you have to keep your center of gravity lower at high speed like this, I feel like. A heavier scooter, like my Wolf King or my Ultra 2, I can stand a little at a little higher profile, stand a little taller, but at this scooter at 40 miles an hour, I don't want to do anything but crouch. I want to keep my center of gravity low towards the scooter. That way, if anything, oh shit, that way, like that, that way if anything really is going wrong, it's like you can feel it as it's happening, that's what I tell myself. What do I really tell myself at high speed is that I check the tires, I check the nuts, bolts, and screws, the scooter, the scooter is in good condition. The stem is strong, the, the hinge is perfect. So we're flying around here at 30, 40 miles an hour. I mean, it's beyond fucking dangerous. Even though my accident, my bed accident happened at slow speed. All right, we're going all the way to Riverside. We still got a bit to go. make like a scooter move I missed my turn off so <laughs> I just like jumped in front of traffic and jumped onto the sidewalk and waited for the pedestrian light and right, now we're close this is my buddy John's neighborhood he's lived here a long time he's one of my smarter friends in the sense that he owns property he's a cool successful guy he's a TV editor he owns a martial arts school in the valley uh, maybe I'll put some pictures here I've, I've known John since I'm um, it's scary to think but like 19 18 19 years old I don't remember how to get to this place. I gotta look at the directions. I haven't been here for so long. You know what it's like when you're grown up, <laughs> when you're grown up, whatever that means, when you get older, whatever that means, it's easy to think you don't have a lot of friends, but just in many cases, your friends don't live that close to you and you gotta go out of your way to see them. And I am just like one of the worst with, uh, I don't wanna travel and shit to go see friends. So you can see already I'm making this like a video trip. So it's more than just a trip to see John. I get to make a video out of it. Here he is, he lives here on La Maida. I would block his address, but this guy owns enough guns where I don't think he cares. God, I haven't been here for so long, I can't remember which one it is. There it is, there's the truck. Oh, there's the, the logo for his martial arts school, too. <laughs> what a quaint little house, huh? Holy shit, what's going on, buddy? <laughs> <Not much. laughs> What's going on, dude? Should we uh, put this in your garage or something, maybe? Sure, I can sure. put it in, pull it in the house, too. Um, it's, it's, no, you know what? I'll open that up. Hang on. Okay. That's, that's where I want to show you. Um. Uh, it's okay. I'm recording everything. Hang on. <laughs> You're going to show me some chicken. You're going to show me some chickens, right? That'll slide right in here. I already I got everybody ready on the channel for the chickens. Oh, you do? I told him so. My buddy John here, he's a cool guy, martial art. You guys know John, he's been on the vlog. He's got chickens. I keep telling him to have a YouTube channel. Uh, so, um, yeah, this is cool, man. Nice. You always try to oh, really, okay. really? He oh, is. wow, I haven't been in your place for a while. Lenny, Why is there dude. so much stuff in here? I thought you were minimalist. It's Lenny. Uh, it's Lenny. Oh, my God, I've never met your cat yet. <laughs> oh, my God, that's crazy, dude. Where so where do you think we're going to go eat? I don't know. It's like your neighborhood. Like, where, where do you go for breakfast around here? Well, I probably have cash on me, but... Uh, uh, and I'll, yeah. buy, I'll buy whatever you we get, since for, at least for that. But, um, so I'd like to go somewhere decent, though. Right. 
So what's happening, good, John, big man? Buddy. What's going on? Uh, not much. Uh, I've just been like training my usual few clients. I still have like four or five. He doesn't. And what happens is it's like anything. What you're talking about is right, but you know the married couples generally don't fuck. Yeah, that's you know like fifty percent or more. I'm sure it's even more. I, I've really made up fuck. my mind. I'm not. I, I, I I'm not getting married. It's not happening. <laughs> that is not. Happening. I love it. Wait. How old are you? 53? You've just decided. You know what? I've decided now I'm definitely not getting married. Yeah. No shit you're not getting married. Yeah. That's the point. You won. You're a winner. There's very few winners in this lifetime. If you make it to our age with no kids and you're, you're fucking yeah. happy and you're not desiring marriage yeah. and you're not married, you won the fucking game. Hey, hey, dude. Uh, oh, you I got, want you, your back. I was about to say you got our back. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Yeah, this does look very good, man. I special ordered bacon, this. sausage, peppers, onions. This looks like an old Jewish man's meal. <laughs> you don't look Jewish. All right, guys, let's go. Whoa, oh, you've actually done a lot of work back here. You didn't have the full coop. This one's getting trying to get into your house. He's trying to get into your house. There they are. Holy shit, they just run around loose out here? I'll tell you what, I'll record this. Hang on a second, actually. Let me get my other camera going. I have a special... Okay, you can do whatever you want okay. now. Guys, careful. Let's have a chop chop time. Come on. Chop, 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 chop. Come on, Ozzy. Come on. Chop, chop. They make noises, huh? They do make noises. Oh, there's another one. Yep, there's three. There's three total? Yeah. Boy, what's this white one's name? Ozzy. Ozzy, and what's this one's name? Sugar. Sugar, and what's the black one's name? Honey. How many eggs do you get out of them? You get one a day. You get one egg a day every day out of for, these fucking... For each, each, you know? One egg every day they have an egg? Yeah, every day, yeah. Really? That's the way it works? Yep. I guess I'm such a city person, I didn't know that at all. So they, um, yeah, you should get two to three a day. Should I be worried if they're coming at me like this? Ah, help! Nope. I scared them, huh? Sorry, I scared you. That, that's really to stop you, that's for like protection for if you hit the ground fast and you slide. You want this? No, no, that looks disgusting, number one, but no. I appreciate it, nah. That's like also a terrible one, it's like barely, the real ones are all yellow and like big yellow. I mean, I, I don't need it, I appreciate it. But, um... My friend Rudy wears it, one of those. I stick out on this thing. I got this big ass helmet. It's not like people don't fucking see me. Right. And you, and you always wear gloves, right? It's interesting you say that because people ask me about protection. I say, look, it's number one is helmet, but number two is actually not knee pads. It's actually gloves. That's pretty, that's when you fun. fall, you, I've fallen on my hands. So, my first oh, yeah. accident on a very slow scooter, oh, yeah. I fell on my hands so bad right. without gloves. And I, 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 I learned. On my motorcycle. Yeah. It was my, it was my Your hands, hand right? Yeah. I broke my wrist, but I yeah. Didn't, you know. Yeah. You can wear a wrist protector too, but I'm just going to drive carefully. I'm not really maxing this thing out, which is a little bit bullshit. I am. Main thing I did was I checked my tire pressure before I went, check all my nuts, bolts, and screws. Yeah, check everything. This is a good helmet too. Is oh, yeah. Troy Lee Designs. Dot, no, dot, dot approved? Of course. Although that, to be honest with you, is actually very minimal certification. Yeah, what's the other one? The other one is what? The other one's, I don't even know the names of them, but apparently Dot is not, Dot is not like as big as you think. But it helps. You definitely want it as a minimum, right? Right. All right, big boy. Hi, buddy. Yeah, it was great to see you, man. Me too. See you soon. All right, that was a good meal. Yep. Thanks for the Thank goodies. You. Uh, by this is where I get paranoid. I worry, like, did I close all my zippers? I guess I did. Yep. Hi, buddy. It was great to see you. Good to see you too. Yeah, we'll go up to Dave's. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, it was great to see my friend John and his chickens. We had an amazing lunch, and now we have the five mile ride home. You know, again, five miles doesn't seem like that much, but it's a pretty far ride. All right, here we are. So we're, I don't know, we're in the valley now. I think this is called Valley Village. I'm not even really sure. But uh, it's a nice little neighborhood that John owns a house in. And now we're going to go back. I don't think we're even going to take the Coenga Pass back, actually. I think we're going to take uh, Highland. So we'll go home with a different route. Plenty of battery. I only use like less than 5% of my battery for the first five miles. But that's deceiving because your battery readout is not accurate, especially when it's fresh.
We're not going to take the Cuenca Pass home. We're going to go uh, over Barham to Highland. So uh, enjoy this fast forward footage. I'm going to time lapse most of the trip. Fellow pioneers, that was a really fun trip. We're almost home. I appreciate your support. Thanks for hanging out with me again. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave comments, ask questions, and I'll see you all next time.